This is going to be our stretching portrait wall. I've already lined it and started to put the tape on. I'm using quarter inch blue painter's tape um, to line the pattern. And I've done a, a test section here to see if we're happy with the colors of paint. So I need to finish lining this one section here and then, then we'll be ready to start painting.
After I taped the walls, I painted each individual color on, and then I uh, peeled the tape off, which left me with the stripes, which is very similar to the um, Haunted Mansion. So here I'm working on the stretching portrait panel. I built this grid out of MDF, and I'm gonna put half inch MDF on, on top of it. 
I'm trying to keep it as light as I can. So that's why I went with the uh, grid waffle grid design here to for the ribs. I need to try and keep it from warping from side to side. And um, hopefully by building it all out of MDF, it, it all expands and contracts at the same rate and doesn't warp on me. I'm actually building it with a slight camber um, to the back, um, which in this video here that you're seeing is down um, because I can actually put slides on the uh, guide slides on the back um, that it'll push back against. I can deal with the, the uh, little bit of a bow better backwards and forwards. Going forwards, I wouldn't have any way to, to put any guide on it. So that's why I went with a rear rear facing camber. Um, gonna put half inch MDF on the top and uh, some trim around it. And then I have some glass coming. Uh, I'm gonna mount all four of the stretching portraits side by side on this panel, which is gonna lift up and down when I get it down to the uh, theater room. 16 inches wide, 54 inches long. I used a, um, a uh, MDF backer board and built kind of like a waffle grid on the back of it. I wanted to use all the same wood so it expands and contracts at the same time because I didn't want it to warp. Um, because it's so wide and it's only supported on the end, so I didn't want it to warp. So top and bottom on each end, I have quarter inch flat iron, and that actually fits back in a groove here that I had made, and you, you can see that on one of the previous videos. Um, but what I'm doing now, uh, here at the bottom, you can see the bracket sticking out here yet, but the ones at the top, I had to make them that I could install them after I put the panel in, otherwise I had no way to get the panel in and out. So that one's already on. So I'm going to put this one on here. And these guides not only hold the panel from going in and out, but I have the length of these uh, bars set so they're rubbing on the ends, which keep, keep the panel centered in the opening. So I got my bracket in up here. It was a little difficult because there isn't a whole lot of room to work with. Um, but now I got to tighten down the uh, nuts. There you go. Now that has it held. It has a little bit of wiggle. I might put some felt pads in to take that little wiggle out. But I don't think that's really going to affect much. So now what will happen, I have, I'm going to have a cable system that comes down these channels in the side. It'll hook onto this bottom bracket here. That's what this hole is for. And I actually have to make a guide channel right here. This will have actually a removable guide channel. So when I want to pull this panel out, um, I can do that. So I need to get that guide channel framed in. Then there'll be a cable system that goes up and over across the ceiling. And I have a storage room over on the other side, which is actually where the winch is going to be that'll lift this up and down. I want to try and make it as silent as possible. So that's why I want the winch over there in that other room so you don't hear it over here. So next step is I want to, I'm actually going to lift the panel up to the ceiling and prop it there. And then um, at the bottom, I need to finish these guide channels, and then I need to make a wainscoting uh, panel to match the other side of the room. 
and uh, that panel will actually be removable. So here again, if I ever want to take this out, I can take that wainscoting panel off and then get the, uh, the uh, portrait frame off the wall. I built this panel here at the bottom, and this is actually removable. You can take that panel off uh, because if you ever want to get the portrait panel out, you need to be able to lower it down and take some of the brackets off to get it out. So this is just sitting here right now. Eventually that'll get screwed fast. And then to finish this effect, I made this uh, bottom trim, which actually matches what's up at the top. And I used uh, biscuits, my biscuit cutter. And I'm going to actually attach this to this bottom panel because that piece stays still and the, the portrait actually slides up and down behind it. So this will stay still and um, then this can still move up and down. So I need to get that attached, get this trim attached. Then I'm gonna take this bottom panel out. Um, right now I just have the portrait sitting on a, a, a prop. Um, I need to lower the panel down and then get my cable system hooked up um, that's actually going to lift it up and down. So here's pretty much the finished product. Um, I added gargoyles. We actually bought these down at Disney World. They're replicas of the ones in the Haunted Mansion. I made corbels, little shelves to sit them on. I'm not totally happy with them yet. I may make a more decorative uh, bracket for underneath the gargoyles, um, but they are up. So um, as far as the mechanism that makes this uh, stretching wall work, um, I'm going to show you the uh, pulley system, which is above the ceiling. Um, and then we have a winch set up over in a storage room. And um, we have some switches here that, that make it go up and down. And I have a, a little safety switch where I can uh, turn everything off. So if somebody pulls on the, because I don't have, limit switches yet on the uh, hold lift, so I kind of have to do it all manually. Um, so I have a safety switch, I'll show you where that is. So this is the winch system that lifts the portraits up and down. This cable comes over across the ceiling, um, and then I uh, fabricated this pulley setup here. This winch is just from Northern Tool. It's an electric uh, overhead uh, hoist winch and I'm just using it in the opposite direction. Um, plugged into electrical outlet here, and then the controls come over from the other side too, uh, to operate it. So this is how you make the stretching portraits go up and down. I made these uh, ropes here, kind of like the old uh, call uh, bell or, uh, you know, that you would have in an old um, house. Um, so the upper one, the shorter one, is the one that raises the portraits, and the lower one is, of course, the one that drops the portraits down. I actually modified the um, uh, switches that came with the uh, winch, the power winch that we have, um, and that's actually up above the ceiling here, so the ropes are attached to that switch. Um, so I'm just using that switch that came with the winch to actually make it operate. We're now in the Frontierland section of our family room, which is also our office, and we'll be doing a video of this in a couple weeks, so stay tuned for that. But our whole family room is controlled by a um, Nest um, uh, remote control, the lights are. And so I need somewhere to put all the uh, switches. So um, we have here our, uh, our uh, poster sign, and I actually made this, put this on a hinge, so all of our uh, lighting controls are behind here. So I also have a switch, um, a master safety switch for the lift on the um, stretching portraits, which is here. So, and I did that because I don't have limit switches on um, the lift. So I wanted to be able to turn it on and off so nobody accidentally, you know, made it go up and down and, and broke something. So this is the safety switch, it's now on. And now we can try out the stretching portraits.
Thanks for watching this Haunted Mansion video from our Haunted Mansion. Then we have an Instagram reel showing the uh, portrait stretching with music. We'll link that below. And stay tuned for some other videos from our Haunted Mansion here and the rest of the family room. Have a great day, and remember, a ghost will follow you home. Thank you.